Found in the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans, the bluefin tuna is the most expensive and sought-after fish in the world. Now, bluefin tunas are known to be expensive, but a New Year's auction in Tokyo over the weekend saw numbers reach new highs. Reaching outstanding lengths of up to 13 feet and weighing up to a staggering 2,000 pounds, this seafood delicacy costs anywhere from $20 to $5,000 per pound. But why are they so expensive? What exactly makes them such a delicacy? And how did one man sell his for a whopping $3.1 million? A Japanese restaurant owner has paid a record $3.1 million for single Pacific bluefin tuna. Join us as we look at why bluefin tuna is so expensive. In the world of seafood, the bluefin tuna is a majestic and highly prized fish. I'm looking at right now is a 111 pound big eye tuna. And uh, I'm looking at a really nice quality fish right here. That holds a significant place in both marine ecosystems and human culture. See, renowned for its impressive size, incredible speed, and delectable taste, the bluefin tuna is a wonder to scientists, fishermen, and of course, seafood enthusiasts alike. Known for creating some of the most mouthwatering sushi known to the earth, the bluefin tuna species comprises three main types. The Atlantic bluefin, Thunus thinus, the Pacific bluefin, Thunus orientalis, and the Southern bluefin, Thunus makoyi. Although all are still part of the bluefin family, These different species vary slightly in size, habitat preferences, and migratory patterns, but they share many common characteristics and are still one of the most expensive aquatic delicacies on the market today. When it comes to the bluefin tuna, one of its most famous characteristics is its outstanding migration pattern. These fish are highly migratory and as such, can be found in both temperate and tropical waters around the world. Preferring habitats with abundant prey, such as small fish, squid, and crustaceans, these underwater gold mines are often found in offshore waters, along continental shelves and near oceanic currents. Although it might seem like the bluefin can be found just about anywhere, this is very far from the truth, as these fish actually exhibit an extensive migration pattern which makes their population exceedingly hard to predict. See, traveling thousands of miles between their spawning grounds and feeding areas, the bluefin tuna's migratory behavior actually poses challenges for fishers because of their unpredictable movements, wide geographic range, variable timing, and insane competitive pressure. For example, Atlantic bluefin tuna actually spawn in the Gulf of Mexico and the Mediterranean Sea, before migrating all the way to feeding grounds in the North Atlantic. Another example is the Pacific bluefin tuna, which follows a similar pattern, spawning in the Western Pacific Ocean and migrating to foraging areas along the coast of North America and Japan. But how's this possible? Well, perhaps one of the most remarkable traits of these traveling delicacies is their incredible swimming speed and endurance. These powerful predators can reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour and have been known to cross entire oceans in their annual migrations. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, as the bluefin tuna also possesses a unique physiological adaptation known as a reet mirabile, which helps them regulate their body temperature and maintain peak performance in various water temperatures, meaning regardless of the environment they find themselves in, the bluefin tuna will still be able to survive and function properly, unlike other tunas like the yellowfin tuna, skipjack tuna, and albacore tuna. Today, the bluefin tuna is among the largest and longest lived fish in the ocean. And depending on the species, they can grow to lengths exceeding 10 feet and weigh over 1,000 pounds. Sadly, despite their impressive size, bluefin tuna actually have relatively short lifespans, typically living for around 15 to 30 years. When it comes to importance, the bluefin tuna's value and rarity stem from a number of factors. First, these fish are subject to high market demand, particularly in sushi markets, which has sadly led to overfishing and the depletion of their populations worldwide. Besides this, their slow growth rate 
and late maturity make them particularly vulnerable to overexploitation, which is a serious issue as their crucial role in marine ecosystems as top predators means that the decline of bluefin tuna populations can have cascading effects on entire ocean ecosystems. Essentially, bluefin tuna are truly remarkable creatures with a rich tapestry of traits, habitats, and behaviors. Their presence or absence strikes a huge blow to both marine ecosystems and the communities that rely on these magnificent fish. But how are these gold mines farmed? And how exactly do fishers all around the world go about capturing one of the most expensive creatures to swim in our oceans? Stay tuned to find out. When it comes to fishing practices, bluefin tuna fishing methods are deeply rooted in tradition, but are constantly growing with modern technology, and today they stand as a testament to the enduring connection between humanity and the sea. For generations, fishermen have ventured into the vast expanse of the ocean armed with little more than their knowledge, skill, and reverence for the sea. This ancient practice is still reflected in the traditional methods of bluefin tuna fishing, which often revolve around the use of time-tested techniques that have been passed down through oral tradition and hands-on experience. One such method is the art of handline fishing, which is a process where skilled fishermen wield simple fishing lines with baited hooks and carefully coax the powerful bluefin tuna to bite the line. This intimate and labor-intensive approach requires patience dexterity, and a deep understanding of the fish's behavior. And today, it stands as a testament to the symbiotic relationship between fishermen and fish. Another traditional technique involves the use of pole and line gear, where fishermen cast lines with barbless hooks into the water and lure the tuna to the surface with bait or lures. This particular method is practiced in regions such as the Mediterranean and Japan, and allows for selective targeting of individual fish while minimizing bycatch and environmental impact. However, things have gotten a whole lot easier as in recent decades, technological advancements have revolutionized the landscape of bluefin tuna fishing, ushering in a new era of efficiency, precision, and productivity. One such innovation is the widespread adoption of purse seine nets, which are massive floating enclosures that can be deployed around schools of tuna, herding them into a confined space before drawing the net closed to secure the catch. Additionally, the use of fish aggregating devices, FEDs, has become increasingly prevalent in modern tuna fishing operations. These floating structures, equipped with buoys and underwater attractants, serve as magnets for tuna, congregating them in large numbers and facilitating their capture using purse seine nets or pole and line gear. While bluefin tuna fishing holds undeniable allure, it is not without its challenges and controversies and perhaps the most paramount of them all is the looming specter of overfishing and the depletion of tuna populations. Years of unchecked exploitation driven by high market demand and lucrative international trade, have taken a toll on bluefin tuna stocks, pushing them to the brink of collapse in some regions. But that's not even the worst part, as this problem is also an enormous challenge because the bluefin tuna grows slowly, takes a long time to mature, and travels far across the ocean, making it hard to manage sustainably. Another major problem is the illegal fishing of these treasured fish that isn't reported or regulated, which makes things worse by hurting conservation efforts and making overfishing worse. In response to the urgent need for conservation, various stakeholders, including governments, fishing organizations, and environmental groups, have implemented measures to protect bluefin tuna populations and promote sustainable fishing practices. These efforts include strict catch limits and quotas, seasonal closures in key spawning areas, and the establishment of marine protected areas to safeguard critical habitats. Taking things a step further, initiatives such as the adoption of electronic monitoring systems,
onboard observers, and satellite tracking technologies now help monitor fishing activities and ensure compliance with regulations. Also, collaboration between countries and international organizations has now become a cornerstone in addressing the transboundary nature of bluefin tuna migrations and ensuring coordinated management efforts across regions. In the end, as we navigate the complex landscape of bluefin tuna fishing, it is imperative to strike a balance between fishing and sustainability. While traditional techniques offer a glimpse into the rich cultural heritage of fishing communities, modern innovations hold the promise of a more sustainable future for bluefin tuna and the oceans they inhabit. By embracing responsible fishing practices, supporting conservation efforts, and fostering collaboration among stakeholders, we can chart a course towards a healthier and more resilient marine ecosystem where bluefin tuna thrive for generations to come. Now that we understand the fishing techniques that are involved in farming the bluefin tuna, the question is, just how expensive can these marvelous creatures get? What exactly is their market value? And what factors affect their prices? Stay tuned to find out. Often hailed as the diamond of the sea, The bluefin tuna commands mind-numbing prices on the global market, reaching unprecedented heights at renowned fish auctions. So much so that in an auction in January 2019, a Japanese sushi tycoon named Kiyoshi Kimura sold a 612-pound bluefin tuna for a record-breaking $3.1 million at Tokyo's Toyosu Fish Market. But a New Year's auction in Tokyo over the weekend saw numbers reach new highs. A sushi chain owner and self-proclaimed Japanese tuna king. But that's not even the crazy part. As auctions held at the iconic Tsukiji Fish Market in Tokyo and other major seafood hubs worldwide consistently make headlines for their jaw-dropping prices. So why do these fish cost so much? Well, several key factors contribute to the astronomical prices commanded by bluefin tuna. However, the chief among them is its inherent rarity and skyrocketing demand in global markets. Bluefin tuna populations have declined significantly in recent decades due to overfishing and habitat degradation, leading to dwindling numbers and heightened scarcity. And as a result, the limited supply of bluefin tuna has now driven up its value, creating a lucrative market for this coveted commodity. Besides this, bluefin tuna's unparalleled taste, succulent texture, and versatility in culinary applications have fueled a surge in demand among seafood connoisseurs, particularly in sushi markets, where it is prized for its exceptional quality and flavor profile. Not to mention the fact that the insatiable appetite for bluefin tuna in high-end restaurants and luxury dining establishments has now further amplified its market value. While bluefin tuna reigns supreme in terms of prestige and price, other species of tuna also hold significant commercial value in seafood markets worldwide. For example, yellowfin tuna, prized for its mild flavor and firm texture, occupies a prominent place in seafood markets as a versatile and affordable option for consumers. Selling for about $1.30 to $1.35 per pound, this prominent fish is nowhere close to the insane prices of the bluefin. There is also the Big Eye Tuna, known for its rich flavor and tender flesh, which commands a higher price than yellowfin tuna at about $1.30 to $1.35 per pound, but falls short of the astronomical prices reached by bluefin tuna. Other species, like the skipjack tuna, which is the most commonly caught tuna species globally and serves as the cornerstone of the canned tuna industry, somehow also fall short of the price of the exclusive bluefin. Essentially, the high cost of bluefin tuna actually reflects a convergence of factors, including rarity, demand, and cultural significance that elevate it to the pinnacle of the seafood world. So as we marvel at the astronomical prices paid for this majestic fish, we are reminded of the intricate interplay between economics, culture, and gastronomy that shapes our perception of value and fuels our enduring fascination with the treasures of the sea. But what happens after it is bought? How is it prepared for the taste buds of enthusiasts around the world? Well, stick around to find out.
The journey of bluefin tuna from the sea to your plates begins the moment it is hauled aboard a fishing vessel, where meticulous handling and processing techniques are employed to preserve its freshness and flavor. Upon capture, the tuna is immediately bled to remove impurities and improve the quality of its flesh. Next, the fish is carefully gutted, cleaned, and packed in ice to maintain its pristine condition during transit to processing facilities or markets. Upon making it to the processing facilities, skilled artisans employ precision cutting techniques to divide the tuna into various cuts, each prized for its unique flavor and texture. Today, the most coveted cuts, such as the otaro, fatty belly, and chutaro, medium fatty belly, command premium prices in culinary circles for their buttery richness and melt-in-your-mouth tenderness. The craziest part of the bluefin tuna is the fact that its culinary versatility knows no bounds, as it lends itself to a myriad of preparations ranging from simple sashimi to elaborate gourmet dishes. In fact, in traditional Japanese cuisine, Bluefin tuna takes center stage as the star ingredient in sushi and sashimi, where its pristine flesh is showcased in its purest form without the need for elaborate seasonings or cooking techniques. However, beyond sushi bars and Japanese restaurants, bluefin tuna finds its way into a diverse array of culinary creations from ceviche and crudo to tartare and tataki. Its firm yet tender flesh, coupled with its mild flavor profile and rich marbling, makes it a favorite among chefs seeking to push the boundaries of gastronomic innovation. The art of preparing and slicing bluefin tuna requires a delicate touch and keen attention to detail, as each cut must be executed with precision to showcase the fish's inherent qualities. Because of this, sushi chefs, known as itamai or shokunin, undergo years of rigorous training to master the art of knife work and achieve the perfect slice of bluefin tuna. Whether slicing sashimi with a razor-sharp yanagiba knife or crafting intricate nigiri with nimble fingers, sushi chefs have elevated bluefin tuna into an art form, transforming it from a mere ingredient into a culinary masterpiece where each slice is a testament to the skill and dedication of the chef, as well as the purity and quality of the fish itself. While bluefin tuna is revered for its raw preparations, it also shines when cooked to perfection. Yes, from grilling and searing to roasting and braising, the versatility of bluefin tuna lends itself to a wide range of cooking methods that accentuate its natural flavors and textures. In fact, when serving cooked bluefin tuna, chefs often pair it with complementary ingredients and flavors to create harmonious culinary compositions. From citrusy ponzu sauce to savory miso glaze, the possibilities are endless, allowing chefs to unleash their creativity and craft dishes that tantalize the taste buds and delight the senses. The crepes that we're later going to wrap uh, our langoustines in. Essentially, the journey of bluefin tuna from catch to table is a testament to the culinary mastery and reverence for quality that define the world of gastronomy. Whether enjoyed raw or cooked in traditional Japanese dishes or innovative culinary creations, Bluefin tuna captivates the palate and ignites the imagination, leaving a lasting impression on all who partake in its exquisite flavors and textures. Finally, it is time to look at the environmental impact of the bluefin tuna. How does it affect the world around us? And how do we affect the world around us? Over the past few decades, intensive fishing practices, driven by increasing global demand, have led to a drastic decline in bluefin tuna populations. This is because the relentless pursuit of this species, particularly the lucrative Atlantic bluefin tuna, Thonus thinus, has resulted in severe depletion of stocks. C. The bluefin tuna are slow to reproduce, making them particularly vulnerable to overexploitation. And to worsen the case, their migratory nature further complicates matters as they traverse vast oceanic expanses, exposing them to fishing pressures across multiple jurisdictions. The worst part of it all is that the consequences of overfishing extend beyond the depletion of tuna populations, as bluefin tuna play a pivotal role in marine ecosystems because they are top predators, and as such, 
regulate the abundance of their prey, and maintain the health of oceanic food webs. Today, their decline can disrupt these intricate ecological relationships, leading to cascading effects throughout the ecosystem. Moreover, the methods used for tuna fishing, such as longlining and purse seining, often result in bycatch inadvertently capturing other species, including endangered marine animals like sea turtles and sharks. As such, recognizing the urgent need to safeguard bluefin tuna populations and marine ecosystems. Holy surrogate mama mackerel, Batman! Scientists want to breed endangered tuna using the mackerel, but can it be done? Various conservation initiatives have been implemented globally. For example, international organizations such as the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas, ITAT, have introduced quotas and regulations to limit fishing pressure and protect spawning grounds. Additionally, measures such as size limits and seasonal closures aim to ensure the sustainability of tuna stocks and minimize bycatch. But that's not all, as advancements in technology have facilitated monitoring and enforcement efforts. Today, satellite tracking systems enable authorities to monitor fishing vessels in real time, ensuring compliance with regulations and deterring illegal fishing activities. Collaborative research initiatives have also enhanced our understanding of bluefin tuna behavior and migration patterns, enabling more targeted conservation strategies. Sadly, despite concerted conservation efforts, achieving sustainable fishing practices remains a formidable challenge, as economic incentives often drive overfishing and the high market value of bluefin tuna creates strong incentives for exploitation. Illegal, unreported, and unregulated IUU fishing only makes matters worse as it exacerbates the problem, undermining conservation measures and perpetuating unsustainable practices. Furthermore, the transboundary nature of tuna fisheries complicates governance and enforcement efforts. This is because disparities in regulatory frameworks and enforcement capacities among nations create loopholes that can be exploited by unscrupulous actors. As such, effective management of tuna stocks requires international cooperation and coordination, yet achieving consensus among diverse stakeholders with competing interests poses significant hurdles. Moreover, addressing the root causes of overfishing necessitates addressing broader socioeconomic factors, such as poverty and food security which drive reliance on unsustainable fishing practices in some regions. Today, implementing alternative livelihoods and promoting sustainable fishing practices requires long-term investment and collaboration across sectors. In the end, the ecological consequences of bluefin tuna fishing underscore the urgent need for concerted action to balance conservation with sustainable practices. Although in recent times, progress has been made through conservation measures and technological advancements, formidable challenges remain, as achieving sustainable tuna fisheries requires a multifaceted approach encompassing effective governance, international cooperation, and socio-economic development initiatives. In the end, the story of the bluefin tuna is a story of delicacy, tradition, and utmost care, as fishers around the world work tirelessly to provide the world with the most intricate and delicious of all underwater creatures.